I recently invented something that I'm pretty sure is gonna change cold email forever. Now what I call it is the perceived value magnet. We're basically done with traditional lead magnets. They don't work anymore and there's a few reasons why. So I recently set out to accomplish a task that a lot of cold emailers consider impossible, which is selling cold email services and products to business owners using cold email. Now, the reason this is so challenging for those of you that don't quite understand how marketing works is the people who are best at cold email typically are selling cold email related services, agency services, infrastructure, and they're really good at it. They do high volume, which makes more and more people numb to those types of messages. So traditionally, anyone trying to sell cold email via cold email typically gets like a 1% or worse reply rate. Now using my new perceived lead magnet tactic, I've been able to achieve a 2.6% reply rate and hundreds of thousands of dollars in new opportunities. And now that I've cracked this code, I wanted to share it with you. Now I'm gonna be walking you through exactly what this sequence looks like and why it works so well. I'm gonna be walking you through the backend automations that help me run and execute this new tactic. But first, I just wanna spend a couple of minutes chatting about what is the perceived value magnet that I'm gonna be teaching you and why are traditional lead magnets no longer working? Now, just like anything else in marketing, once something becomes oversaturated, people become numb to it and a specific tactic no longer works. Now, I believe this is starting to be true of lead magnets, especially bad ones. So here is the traditional lead magnet. This is what a lot of people are using to try and generate interest by cold email but not just cold email. People are, this is no longer working for ads either. So what is a traditional lead magnet? This is something like a free PDF. It's something like a free mini course. Sorry for my handwriting. Now the problem with these traditional lead magnets is they're generic, meaning they don't solve a specific problem to that person. And the perceived value of them has become lower and lower because more and more people are doing them. So as the perceived value goes down, the effectiveness of lead magnets also goes down. So there's two main reasons why they're not working anymore. One, the perceived value is low because they're generic but also the perceived value is low because of the way people are presenting them. So the traditional way to present a lead magnet is, hey, reply PDF, and I'll send you this document of like 92 hooks that you can start using. I'm sure you've opted into some of those. God knows I do too. Now the problem with this old style is they know that this is automated. They know that you've built this lead magnet once and you're disseminating it to everybody which means the perceived value is going to be low. So for this, I'm just gonna write low effort. Low effort equals low value because they know you don't have to do anything to give them this. And you're in no position to be doing free services for anybody. Although it's a really powerful lead magnet doing a free trial for somebody, it's not very scalable. So with these traditional lead magnets, you have low effort, generic, and typically automated, which means reply this word and I'll send you the PDF. They know that it's not actually you sending the PDF, which is also low effort. So how do we fix that? If we wanna get lead magnets to work again, we need to increase the perceived value. Now, part of what I was trying to accomplish here was how do I make my prospect think that this isn't some automated generic thing. This is something that I am actually taking the time to provide to you. So here, thinks it's personalized. Let me change my color to. We want the prospect to actually believe that this lead magnet is personal to them, to their problem, to their offer. If they think that it's personalized, they're more likely to actually want to see that lead magnet. I actually got this idea because of the effectiveness of the Loom strategy. You actually making a custom Loom video for everyone that responds, yes, send the video. That's a strategy that works. It's not very scalable because you actually have to do that manually and make the video each time. However, it's effective. So how do we replicate that same psychology, but without you having to do it yourself each time. So that was problem one that I needed to solve. Problem two, you don't want them to think that you're automating this whole thing. So like respond PDF and I'll send you the PDF. Like they know you're not sitting there manually sending the PDF. Anyone worth their salt as a business owner understands automation and that that process is likely automated. So problem number two was make them feel like this is not automated. Like it's taking you real time to actually put together that lead magnet and send it to them. If I could pull this off, then I think I could crack the code and be effective in selling cold email services via cold email. This is like climbing Mount Everest for hikers. Only the best of the best can do it. It's like selling Facebook ad services as a Facebook ads expert. 
The other best cold email marketers are competing for those same business from the same people. And I wanted to figure out how to whoop all of their butts. And I finally did it using this perceived value lead magnet. So here's how it works. First, I needed to figure out what that lead magnet is going to be. And I wanted to deploy it using AI. Now, what we know about AI is that it's really good at doing research and writing copy. So the lead magnet that I had in mind was I will write your cold outreach strategy and I'll write your cold outreach sequences. And for those of you that want to see this lead magnet in action, you can come to leadgenj.com, hover over freebies and come into cold email writer. So this automation that I built essentially does research into your offer, your ICP, your pain points, and then it writes you a cold email sequence based on, on a ton of training that I've put together for this AI to really dial it in. The results are actually remarkable. But I didn't wanna ask people by cold email to fill out a form because that's not what I had in mind here. That feels automated and we do not want it to feel automated. But I like that idea, I like that principle. I'll do research and I'll write you a cold outreach sequence. A lot of people seem to like that. It's one of my most popular lead magnets. So cool, check. We're going to use AI generated research and cold outreach copy. But how are we gonna automate this and how are we gonna make them think that it's not automated without them actually filling out a form? So here's what we ended up doing. Let me show you the sequence. So here's the email preview, subject line, name, should I draft a sequence for you? Hey, name, I recently built this lead gen system for Gerald Fitz and we're getting a 28% reply rate for them. I think a similar sequence would work for you. Would you be open to me doing a little research and writing a cold email sequence for you? Just say yes and I'll start doing some research ASAP. Let me know. Now this is really what's transforming lead magnets and delivery by cold email. So my ability to automate it, awesome. But the way that I'm presenting it is really the, the main takeaway that I want you to have from this video. Instead of just saying, say PDF and I'll send it over, I'm actually making them think that I'm gonna take time out of my day to do research and write something custom for them and send it over, just like the Loom video. This increases the perceived value of that lead magnet and increase the chances that they're going to respond and take me up on this offer. So big takeaway, positioning of your lead magnet. Don't just make it feel like some automated generic thing. Make them think that you're actually gonna take the time out of your day to build something custom for them, even if you're gonna rely on AI and automation to deploy it. Cool, so they say yes, what now? How do I actually do this for them one-to-one -one without them filling out a form and without me sitting there researching and writing cold email sequences all day or my team doing it because that costs me time and money. All right, so to solve this problem, I went into make.com. Now I use essentially this same blueprint for all of my AI copywriting lead magnets. I usually just modify it a little bit. So for example, the one on my website, instead of being triggered by a form, this one is triggered by a webhook. Now, a webhook is like an API call that you send to or from instantly or to or from other apps that contains information. So I built this Reply AI a while ago. If you're in my Insiders program, you've probably already seen this before. When somebody new replies in Instantly AI, it grabs their last message, comes up with an AI reply, and then if I want to send that AI reply, I can just say good. But if I wanna send this lead magnet to them, I say send AI sequence. And this is built in Notion. Now in Notion, I set up this automation. So it sends out that webhook when I say send AI sequence. And that webhook triggers this automation. Now this blueprint for this automation is available to members of my insiders program, but here's essentially how it works. It grabs the information from Notion finds the conversation in Instantly AI, then it does the research on the company, creates buyer persona, finds pain points, generates subject lines, writes email one, two, and three, puts it into a Google Doc, and then essentially delivers that lead magnet to them. And it is perfect just about every single time. Now again, this is available to the insiders as well as the prompts. So if you're not already part of my paid program, you might want to consider doing that. You wonder what kind of value I provide in there versus free on YouTube. This is the kind of stuff that you get in there. So cool. We update it to send AI sequence. This lead magnet deploys and sends to them one in instantly, but two, now they also go into my CRM and it sends them that lead magnet as well in the CRM. And here's essentially what I'm sending them along with that lead magnet. 
So here's the sequence that I've built for you. I hope you enjoy it. Now, if you want help implementing this sequence and actually starting to do outreach, we'd love to help you. Here's a link to schedule a call with our team. So what is the result of this? Well, a lot more people are responding. A lot more people are interested in me actually taking the time to do the research, deliver that lead magnet. But what's better is once they see it, they see that we actually took the time and delivered a really high quality product. They're almost guaranteed to book that follow-up call to start implementing it. Because if we can do this good of a job with a free lead magnet, imagine how good we can do with a full deployment. Then there's also the law of reciprocity. If you do something for someone or buy something for someone or give something for, to someone, then they're much more likely to reciprocate that to you. So for example, if I took the time to put this together and send this to them, then they're much more likely to take the time to speak to me or my team about future services and products. Now my call to action to you is what kind of perceived value magnet can you use in your business and how do you actually build and deploy one of these? Well, if you're interested in learning, then I recommend joining my insider system. There's over a thousand business owners in there and that's where I teach you how to build things like this, but not just teach you how we give you the blueprints, we give you the prompts, and there's a lot more advanced trainings in there that take you from A to Z. And there's a lot of tactics in there that I actually keep just for the insiders. Now there's a 40% off coupon going on right now. I'm gonna link it down in the description along with the link to join the insiders if you're interested. And if you found this video helpful and you wanna thank me for making this public, please like this video and please subscribe to Lead Gen J on YouTube, unless you hate money and then don't. And if you haven't already watched my masterclass on cold email, make sure that you do that. It's going to be linked right here.